Libra, beautiful soul. How are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome. Welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirits' messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you have not yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. So, so it feels like it would be really, really um, beneficial at this time because in your life to perhaps think about changing your environment up a little bit. Maybe this is going on a vacation, maybe even just a staycation where you rent an Airbnb in your local city. But what we're getting from you here, Libra, is the Eight of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Wands in reverse. Now, what this means is that there is this in-between phase where you're kind of like one foot in and one foot out. You're going through this transitional period where you're realizing that the things that you want in your life and the things that maybe you have wanted are starting to change. So that internal realization, that tower in reverse where the internal shift is happening where we're like, wait a minute. I thought I was wanting to do this and be this, but now I'm realizing I might want this. There's this moment, right? So whenever we're in this moment where we are in this um, wobble, right? We don't want to practice wobble because if we practice wobble, we attract wobble. Wobble is like, I really want this, but right. So we don't want wobble. We want to know, right? We're, we want to know stuff. So a lot of the times in order for us to know, changing our environment gives us the contrast and just the change of day to day helps us get to, to receive that understanding deeper. So if you have the opportunity to change your environment, we would encourage you to do so. If you're like not really in a place where you can just get up and go on a vacation or change your environment, what we would say is change your day-to-day -day activities. Give yourself a break from whatever it is that you have been doing. Maybe bring in some more um, uh, practices that connect you to the divine feminine energy of connection to the spirit realm. That's going to be through creativity, movement, um, and all kinds of things. Dancing, create. Uh, you can get like an adult coloring book, let's say. You could put on some music, dance to it. I know our egos are like, this is ridiculous. I don't want to do this. What's the point of this? How is dancing going to make me more money? How is dancing going to heal my ancestral wounding? How is dancing going to get me that relationship I want? I get it. I've been there, but it does work and it does help and it will help you as well. Um, so be open, not closed off, right? Curious, not closed off. It will, it will do the trick. It'll serve you well. So what we can see here is there needs a change of an, a change of environment or just a change of scenery, right? A change of pace um, in order for you to receive the clarity that you're looking for. Um, but it's interesting because this initial realization of like of what you wanted changed, it has has as soon as we say we want something, the universe gives it to us. So you may be experiencing this nine of wands energy where it feels very hard. You're like, what is going on? The last couple of weeks I've been going, not weeks, kind of last, yeah, probably a couple of weeks. I've kind of been going through this nine of wands because I asked the universe to help me heal emotional uh, eating, emotional eating. And so I said yes to this journey. And basically when you say yes to clearing emotional wounding, right? Or when you've practiced something in an emotional way, um, food, drugs, alcohol, shopping, right? And to heal it, it means that we have to allow ourselves to just go through where whatever shows up in our awareness and just say yes to everything. And even if it is not going to get us the goals we want initially, it doesn't matter. The point is we're healing, right? And so because you've asked to either receive more money, which we feel like there's money because there's a six of pentacles here. So receive more money, get to that upgrade in your business or career, maybe even feel more stability in your relationships. But either way, the, it, if you're feeling that nine of wands energy of like, it's the final push, you know, like Mario beating Bowser, you know, it's like the last, it's like feeling really difficult. Just know that it's through that energy of extreme difficulty that you're going to then get to dun, 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 all your desires, right? So there, it's on your way. So just remember that when it feels extra hard, it's about to get extra good. So when you're in this difficult time, embrace the fact that you are going to have nostalgic beliefs, like limiting nostalgic beliefs, but that's where you really want to be present 
and you want to remind yourself that I'm going through the final push. I'm Mario beating Bowser and I am going to beat this giant lizard thing, dinosaur, dragon, right? We're doing this, right? So you want to transmute the negative thinking into positive thinking. You can do this through actual energy work practices. But the name of the game is to, and what I would do, for instance, um, and what I was practicing is uh, I would f see the negative um, thoughts in my head, and then I would, uh, we're not our thoughts, we're not our emotions, right? So I see the negative thoughts in my head, and I feel where the density is in my body. So maybe I think negative thought, and then I feel dense here, let's just say. I will say, I see you, I feel you. I release you and then I will breathe into that density. I will breathe into the thoughts and I will take all this, uh, this breath and clear it all away with breath. And that's what, um, the power of breath can do. You can visualize white light going into any dark spots or white light going into the negative thoughts and release it. Cause remember, it's not who you are. So you're at that final push. It's going to be more dense and negative than ever. You just keep sticking to the love. You keep transmuting that darkness into love. You're basically telling the universe, I'm ready, I'm here, I'm participating, I'm conscious to the fact that I am not my thoughts and I'm not my negativity. I'm deliberately eliminating it so I can be on my journey of love, evolution, and abundance. That's what we're saying to the universe when we do that. You keep doing that, universe is like, they're ready, they're ready, and you get the next step, right? And that's how it is. It's just keep getting to the next step. Just keep getting to the next step. And then the next step is filled with your desires being met. And then you practice this chapter for a little while and you keep evolving. You keep practicing the energy work, right? So the name of the game with each chapter is we develop skills and practices that serve us. And the real key is to keep what works consistent throughout our lives and to not falter on that, right? So, you know, when you find a workout that an exercise routine that works for you, you don't have to fix, you don't have to switch it use that same exercise routine for the rest of your life. You know what I mean? If 20 minutes of Pilates a day works, don't switch it. You don't have to. Just keep doing that. If it works, it works. As soon as it doesn't work, that's when you venture out and you open your heart. Okay, universe, this isn't working anymore. Show me my next step, right? But if something's working, stick to it and build off of that. And then when the time, and, and then again, if you, if you feel like you need upgrades, then the universe will, will, will guide you through that. But ultimately, just keep going. So your wishes are coming to fruition. Um, you're going to have different paths that open up for you and you are going to experience a lack of in inner willpower. This is normal. This is normal, beautiful soul. You're going to feel a lack of will, a lack of confidence. Is this right? Is this not right? Here's all my desire showing up in front of my face, but I'm stuck in fear mode. I'm stuck in worrying mode. We really encourage you to understand. We really encourage you that consistency with what works will keep you on purpose, will keep you feeling good, right? So if something works in your life, stick to it. And that's how we heal a lot of emotional uh, wounding that we, we, we practice, right? Is just sticking to a system that works. For me, I wake up early, I get my 15 minutes of high intensity body weight exercise in, I trained with Zuzka Light, ZuzkaLight.com, Z-U-Z-K-A, and, um, and, I, I just do her 12 minute body weight workout. I don't know why I'm flinging my arms around. I was like, why am I not just sharing? It's like universe is like, just be yourself and share it. I'm like, I don't know. But what if they don't like me? That the stupid voice that's in your head. Not that I go through that, but there's that hesitation. We're just going to be raw on this channel. I don't give it. I don't give it nothing. So we all go through it. I work out for 12 minutes a day in the morning time. And then I get a second 10 minute abs, ab workout in before I eat my, my, my meal at nighttime. That's exactly what I do. It works for me. I stick to it. You got to figure out what works for you, Libra, and you got to stick to it. I was not practicing what works for me very recently here, um, because I was going through that nine of wands energy and where it's sometimes like on the game of life, it's like, you're used to doing the things that you know works, right? But then all of a sudden you feel called to not do it anymore. And you're kind of thinking, this is weird, but it feels good to not do the things that I'm used to doing. It's that contrast. The universe go takes us through uh, th these chapters sometimes where we learn a bunch of stuff and then we let go of everything. We stop doing the things we were practicing just to get that contrast of what it's like to do the things that feel good and then to not do the things that feel good. And when you're in that contrasted moment of like, this doesn't feel good anymore, that's when you realize, ah, it clues in all the all the things that you've been practicing in the past that have felt good, you'll bring them back in, right? So for me, it's always going to be that ex exercise, that quick 12 minutes, 12, 15 minutes of high intensity body weight only. It always just clears the energy, gets me on track, gets me clear. Everything works out, right? So I do that. I do my meditation and then I'm ready for the day. So you're, you might be at a place in your life where you want to take that deeper dive and ask, okay, let's, you know, let's, let's, let's keep things moving. 
Take what works and stay consistent with it. Now, your message for today is the energy I bring is the energy I get. What am I focusing on and does it serve me? Hence, get me results. So for instance, I went through this contrast recently where I wasn't waking up and getting my exercise in. I was getting meditation in, but I wasn't getting my exercise in. Now, exercise clears our energy, right? Especially if done the right way. I only exercise again 10 to 15 minutes for high, body weight only, that's enough, right? As I came from like hour workouts before with weights and all kinds of stuff, it wasn't necessary. It was stressful on my body. So that's what I noticed works for me. So, and I noticed that when I stopped doing that, I wasn't as in my full energy power, right? I was, I was here, but, but, but not really, right? I felt more like a version of my programming, my mom, my dad. I witnessed that energy within me way more than when I wake up and I get that, that exercise in, I don't feel like my parents. I feel like I'm myself and I'm separate, but when I am not doing those things for me, cause that's what connects me to me, right? Cause it clears for me, it clears my energy then I felt like my parents. If you feel like you're a walking model of your mom and your dad, you feel their energy as you, as you are the same, that's not how you want to live life. It's not how you want to live life. You're not your parents. You're not here to be your parents. You never were signed up to be your parents. You were grateful. Thank you for volunteering to you know produce me, but you are your own. And so having that separation, having a practice that separates you is going to be beneficial. So again, whatever energy you bring is the energy you get. So if there's a relationship that you want to uh, grow with, but you're not showing up confident, you're not showing up as you, you're showing up as a version of your programming, it won't get to where you want to go. It won't be the relationship you want because you're not the person that you are. Does that make sense? So discover what works for you, stick to a system that works, trust in the process. And if the energy you get, the energy you bring. So if you're not confident in your life, based on the action steps that you're taking for you, it's, it's going to leak over into the other areas of your life, right? So when you command yourself and conduct yourself in a way that leaves you feeling confident about yourself, you see that same result in your outer world. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there were messages in here for you. If there was, like and subscribe. We truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.